Brenda, that's not what that's for. Brenda, no, don't hit that. Brenda. So if you don't know, if you didn't see our video, but Brenda almost died. Um, a few days ago, she got trapped under a pile of lumber and we couldn't find her. Um, and then I did, and I managed to get her pulled out from the pile of lumber and got her drinking and eating fluids. And we weren't sure if she was gonna make it. To be honest, she was in pretty rough shape. So the fact that she is walking around, flying around, and everything is pretty exciting because she was trapped under the lumber for about two or three days. Um, unfortunately, we, it was one of those situations where we had thought we had seen her and the kids came in here and were playing and we just, we didn't take a head count like we normally do. Um, it was only about two days. Yeah, it was actually only like two days. We did a head count and then the kids came in here and we didn't do a head count the next day. And then I came down and I heard her, but I couldn't find her and it sounded like she was up in the rafters. So I was looking up there and I thought, oh, she must be on one of the lights and I just can't see her. Well, I left for a couple of hours, came back and our rooster was freaking out. And so I thought he was getting attacked. Come to find out it was him alerting me to her being where she was. So I came down here and he was pecking at the pile of lumber. And that's when I saw her, a couple of her feathers sticking out. And so I immediately started like literally throwing all of this like hundred year old heavy lumber around the barn. All the chickens ran out of the barn because they knew what I was doing and started throwing it. And she's still here today.